Our wedding day is finally here. You're my best friend and my soulmate, and I can't wait to say I do. I can't wait to see you at the end of the altar. Thank you for asking me to be your wife. Love you forever and always, Laura. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. God of wonder and of joy. Grace comes from you. And you alone are the source of life and love. Without you, we cannot please you. Marriage is a gift of God in creation, through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind as Christ is united with his bride, the Church. Yeah, 
as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let no one put us under. Have a look at it. So at Lord's Day, I was very proud as Father walking you down the aisle. You look truly beautiful. Today seems a perfect occasion in front of family and friends for Lorraine and I to say how much we love you, how proud we are of you. Everyone knows and will agree that you are kind, caring, bubbly and fun-loving. And I'm so happy that him and Laura finally get married. And honestly, Laura, we do adore you. You look incredible today. You made me cry numerous times. But I love you. On behalf of everybody in the room, I would like to wish you a lifetime of happiness together. Laura, please look after him. We both know he can't look after himself. <laughs> anyway, I'd like you all to be upstanding and raise a glass. For Laura and Adam, the bride and groom.